Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique Ripper known as the Harvester. Now to acquire this weapon you will of course need the Far Harbor DLC installed. So provided that is done, all we need to do is head to Echo Lake Lumber. Now on the pit boy map this can be found to the northwest of the Nucleus. And just a warning, this place is rather heavily populated with ghouls who hide in various crooks and crannies so be aware when approaching this place and come prepared for a fight with the army of ghouls. Once they have been slain on the very top floor or the attic of this destroyed building at Echo Lake Lumber, we will find a red steamer trunk. Go up to this trunk, have a look in it, and there will be the harvester. And of course, be sure to harvest this weapon by picking it up. Now before modding it out and running through its base stats, as always I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the Harvester. Now there is only one mod slot and we could put the curved blade which gives a chance to disarm the enemy but with the Harvester's legendary effect the disarming effect is kind of rendered useless. So instead we're going to be going with the extended blade modification which as we can see targets bleed and gives exceptional damage. So once that is applied we can see it has a base ballistic damage of 7, its speed is very fast, its weight is 9, its value is 275 and up the top we can see the Harvester. Chance to stagger on hit. Now this staggering ability is applied by the legendary effect called staggering, which as we know offers a chance to stagger. But what you may not know is when applied to a ripper, in this case the harvester, it makes that ripper become one of the most overpowered weapons in the game. But we'll touch on that in a little bit. As for now, as we know, the harvester is a unique ripper, a short bladed chainsaw like device that was used by the military before the war. Now the harvester is a chain blade type weapon and it has a very high DPS. Although its base damage is only 7, its speed is very fast, so it does in fact hit multiple times a second. So not only does it do way more damage than you originally thought, but the critical meter will fill up quite a lot. So with all that in mind, I did find it to be an incredibly effective melee weapon in actual use in game. Now there is one other unique ripper in the game which is called Reckoning, which is a piece of junk. Also the method in which you have to get it is also a piece of junk, a very buggy broken piece of junk if you've seen my video video on it, you'll know what I mean. So with that said, this one, the Harvester, is so much better than that piece of crap Reckoning. Not only is it not bugged, but it is a much more powerful weapon. The combination of its legendary effects combined with its very fast attack speed makes it one of, if not the most overpowered weapons in the game. It almost permanently staggers enemies and makes it impossible for them to attack. This is the reason that I personally didn't want to add the curved blade modification, which in case you don't remember gave a chance of disarming the enemy and with that previous sentence there's no need to disarm the enemy because they're constantly staggered so they never get a chance to attack. Now with the correct perks, those being the big leaguers perk and the bloody mess perk, the harvester can deal large amounts of damage in a short period of time while also staggering the enemy. Now of course the less enemies you're fighting at once the more useful this staggering effect will be because it can only affect the enemy you're hitting at the time. But even with that said hold down attack and just spin in a circle. You'll look absolutely gorgeous. Now the only downside being groups of enemies, which to be honest isn't that much of a downside anyway, do I need to sell the harvester to you? In use it was excellent, it's a nice light weapon, it doesn't require any ammunition, of course it's a melee weapon, it's fun to use, it's got some cool unique animations, slicing and dicing enemies, sticking a chainsaw into their stomach while holding their shoulder like a good old friend. The only reason you wouldn't want to use the harvester is if you don't want to use a melee weapon, apart from that I don't know what's wrong wrong with you. Or perhaps there's something wrong with me, don't answer that. But all in all, and in all seriousness, the Harvester is an excellent melee weapon, I didn't have any issues with it, I found no bugs. With the correct perks you can deal a massive damage, again the staggering effect just doesn't give the enemies any chance whatsoever, and you get to get awesome visuals of slicing up the enemies with a damn chainsaw. So yes, it is definitely worth getting, and also getting it is super easy, so you have no excuse. Now this weapon, the Harvester, did remind me of some of my family members. Now I've got an auntie called Esther, and her daughter, my cousin, turns out she's only half Esther. Now my cousin's name is Vesta, and there's nothing I love more than laughing at her. Ha ha ha, Vesta. And on that note, I'm getting out of here before one of your hitmen find me. So here it is, the Harvester in action.
there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and I still will be Camel after this video's over. This has been my weapons guide for the unique Ripper, the Harvester, in the Far Harbor DLC. For, of course, Fallout 4. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see videos similar to this one, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Yes, that was all done on one breath. If you are impressed with my one breath speaking technique, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. Or you can search Camelworks on Twitter, whichever is easier for you. Do it. And once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.